I'm author Beth Anderson, and this is one of my latest books, Revolutionary Prudence Right, Leading the Minute Women in the Fight for Independence. And I have a question for you. I want to know what you would do if you were faced with a situation where you want to change it. At the time of the American Revolution, people worked for change in many ways. And one action that they took was the boycott. Boycotts are a way to fight back with our choices, with how we spend our money. They're a nonviolent way to support a cause that you care about. Here are some pages from Revolutionary Prudence Right that show where the women fight back against King George. On this page, they're burning their tea to support the action of the Boston Tea Party. That's an event you probably heard about. And then Prudence and the women made their own goods so they wouldn't have to buy the British goods and support the king with his taxes. They made their own tea. They wove their own cloth. They made their own sugar. And they gave up a lot of the fancy things that they really didn't need for the cause of independence. Today, people still use boycotts. Sometimes we refuse to shop at stores or buy products that we, we don't agree with. Some examples are that we might not go to a store that treats its employees or some people unfairly. We might not buy clothing made by children or underpaid workers. And sometimes we don't wanna buy products that pollute or cannot be recycled. What would you like to change? How would you take action? Boycotts are small actions by individuals, but when many people do it together, there's a big impact and we can cause change. Write about something you'd like to change. Tell how you would do it. Then you can make a poster and act, ask others to join you in your cause. I can't wait to see what you do. Thanks.